I've got another cool sample for you all. I think every single one of my videos sounds like I got a package or I got this, so I apologize. <laughs> We're gonna be sampling Veet next. Um, the program that's allowing me to sample or test and review is Home Tester Club. I've got a few items from this company. Um, so this next thing we're gonna be trying is Veet Legs and Body 3-in-1 Ready to Use Wax Strip Kit Hair Remover. So I'm excited to try this one because again, this is a product that I've seen in the store or similar in the store and I've wondered if they really work. Is it worth buying, worth the money? But I didn't buy it because I mean, you don't wanna buy something unless you know it works. So now I finally get to find out if it does without spending the money on it. And this will also help everybody know if it's worth it. So um, this product here removes the shortest hairs, exfoliates, leaves the skin moisturized. It's a three-in-one product. Uh, it comes with 40 wax strips and 40 or four wipes. Um, it's got some ingredients here on the side so you know what's in each thing if you have any allergies. I'm gonna read you some information on the box here. It says, confidence in excellent results with the best ever beat strip wax strips. The gel formula with easy gel wax te technology flows around and actively grips the shortest hairs, not the skin, removes the hairs from the root for up to 28 days of smoothness. Rem um, I already read that part. So it gives the confidence to achieve great first time results for those inexperienced and wax strip with wax strips. Akai berries or however you pronounce A-C-A-I, sorry. Enjoy the pleasant gel texture on the skin, or oh, the fragrance, that's what it was. Delightful aroma and beautiful color. Um, before using the wax strips, please read pack precautions carefully. No need to rub the strips before spreading, separating them to warm the wax. You can achieve great results in just four steps. So, all right, so step one, take out a double wax strip. Carefully peel the strips apart using the rounded easy grip tabs. So we're gonna open up the box and see exactly what this is saying. All right, so, all right. So this is what one looks like. This is the rounded part. Okay, so I see what, what it's talking about there. Um, peel the strips apart using the rounded, okay, number two. With the easy grip tab at the bottom, apply one strip to the skin. Rub several times in the direction your hair grows to make sure the wax adheres well. Three, hold your skin taut. So like you hold the bottom and then pull up. Um, grasp the tab and pull the strip back on itself as quickly as you can against the direction that the hair grows. Pull on the strip Pull the strip back in one swift motion close to the skin rather than away from it. After waxing, clean away any, any wax left on your skin with a perfect finish wipe. So there's 40 wax strips. There's only like this much. So I, I mean, that's a small strip. Not really if you like for your face, but like for your legs. It's kind of small for a leg unless you're like really, really, really skinny. Yeah. Um, but it comes with four wipes. So I think it's saying you can use this box potentially four times if you have really tiny legs. <laughs> I think I would take the whole box. Um, so that sounds really easy to try. Uh, for the best results, apply some baby powder to make sure your skin is perfectly dry before waxing. So you want really dry skin apparently. Always pull back the wax strip against the direction of hair growth. So if your hair is going this way, pull back this way. Um, the faster you pull, the more hair you'll remove. Wax is Wax in a consistent pattern to make sure you don't miss any hairs, but don't wax over the same area more than once. So if you've never waxed before, maybe you don't know that, but if you have, you know, you don't ever put wax in the same place. You can reuse each strip until it loses its stickiness. Hmm. So that's good to know. Maybe that's how you can use this four times probably. All right, so um, it does have an expiration date. So this one expires March, 2023. So I'm gonna give this a try. Oh, look, I did like mess it up a little bit. So I should not be playing with this. I will give those a try and I'll come back to you later or at a later time. Um, but I'm definitely excited to try this. So um, very cool. Okay, so we're gonna get real here. 
I am going to sample on my legs before I actually shave myself. Um, we've been on vacation, we've been busy, I really need to shave. So this will be a good sample to see how well this works. So I'm going to choose my right leg, I'm going to get set up, and we will document the process. Hopefully with the lighting in here you'll be able to see. I might have to move. I might move to the sunlight. That might be easier. So, here we go. All right, here we go. You can see my little hairs on my leg here. We're just giving this a try. Cuz, you know, you're seeing my real my real. Oh, I did it upside down. Remember, this part's supposed to be on the opposite side because it's going to be harder to grab. So, hopefully. Ah. Hey. That wasn't too bad. You can literally see where the hair is left. All right, let's try another spot. Oh, wait, let's look at this. Oh, my gosh. It really worked. <laughs> All right, we're going to try another spot right next to it. Again, we don't want to hit the same area, and I have put it on in the correct direction this time. Now see, I do have some gel left on me right there, um, and we'll use those strips to get it off, the uh, wipes. It wasn't as painful as I was expecting it was going to be, so, you ready? Woo! Wow. Now that second one didn't pull it off as well, but holy cow. I mean, it worked pretty good. You definitely see the line where it was. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna try one more round here. But remember, we gotta flip it upside down. All right, this is the last one I'm gonna do on video. And again, um, we might not be as sticky, but it said you could use it up to four times, five times. So, let's see if it works. No. All right. So, it worked pretty good. It still left a little bit of hair on that third one. Um, but it's definitely better than it is looking. I mean, you could see for sure. So, it's it's definitely good for one one strand or one but I don't think it would do any more than what I just did. So, all right there you go so you are seeing another side of me being completely honest i have used two straps on my leg um you could see the hair on them it's so gross it works decent it's not amazing um i used each one three times i'll show you my leg here in a second so there is some the first one works great there are no leftover hairs the second and third time it's not perfect it does leave over some hair so you might still have to use a razor or something because you're not supposed to put it over it that area again um it's not as painful as i expected because i'd never had done wax on my leg before um but it's not bad not bad definitely i don't think it would do four or five pulls because I mean, maybe just because the amount of hair. No, my hairs were pretty long. So maybe we'll have to try it on less time. I don't know. Normally, I don't let my hairs get this long, okay? <laughs> it was just for this test, but um, maybe we should try to test it with shorter growth to see if it really does pull because it had a lot to hang on to this time. <laughs> so, all right, I'm going to show you my leg and the areas that I did since the last section. All right, so earlier I did this section and this section, this section, and, and then I did this one. So for the most part, I mean, there's some hairs here that didn't come off. Um, and then I did over here. You can see there's some hairs left. It's left my skin kind of dry. Um, but every so often there's a few hairs that got missed. So... It's not perfect and I do have to wipe off some of the glue or wax but it does leave your skin a little dry I mean look at all the white little polka dots everywhere and it didn't get all the hairs so 
I'd say not bad of a sampling if you're doing one um, one section, but it, it definitely missed. I mean, look at that. It missed all these. That's so. all I got. Um, I think it does an okay job. Not amazing, but what do you expect for a wax that you don't have to heat up? So thank you. I forgot one part, um, the wipes. So after you're done, you have to use the wipes. So I decided to go ahead and do some more on the other leg and I did sample it like four or five times and it still did work pretty good. I think I had like a, what do you call it? When you're like a new person using something, you have to learn the quirks of it. I did much better on the second leg. I can show you. And when I opened the wipes, number one, I was kind of annoyed because the only thing that's in English is the title, Perfect Finish Wipes. And I'm like, okay, then I opened it and I thought, oh gosh, I feel dry. Like, are they already dry? That's annoying. Um, but then I realized, no, they're not dry. Once I opened them, I noticed they were very oily. I don't know if you can see my hand is very shiny from this oily wipe. But um, that probably will put some moisture back in your legs as well as get rid of the wax. And I'd say it did a pretty good job. Um, I wipe my legs down. They don't look as dry as they did. And um, like I said, I'll show you the other leg and it looks so much better than the first one. All right, here's my other leg. Still left a few hairs, but um, it's not as dry. I'm trying to get to focus. Um, here's the first leg. So you can see there's a few errors, but well, now I'm getting all blotchy. Look at that, probably from the stuff I used. So I'm getting very blotchy from pulling the hair and being irritated. Eh, interesting. We'll have to see what happens. I'll get back to you actually, because I didn't notice these white blotches on my skin. They didn't look like that a second ago. So, uh-oh. So it's been a few days since I did the Veet Wax. The irritation went away, but I still have those few strands of hairs that never got pulled. Um, so it's not a product that I think I will use again, um, but it was definitely interesting to try and I'm glad I get to show it to you all. But um, it irritated my skin for a little bit. It did pass. Um, just not, I'd rather shave my legs than, than go through all of that. I mean, it's the same time. <laughs> so, all right. Thank you.